hey, just reminiscing and realize, damn, it's been forever since we last saw each other. You know me, got a hard time staying put. That damn saying is always stuck in my head. It's like ever since we watched that trailer, well, it's the last time we were in The Witcher, I just can't get it out of my head. I'm forever just, Geralt's voice is just echoing. But here we are, Witcher 3, Wild Hunt, welcome back. We're going to look at the other outcomes of the endings for Blood and Wine. I don't believe I'm going to do all of them. To be honest with you, I don't even know the rest of them. Hey, Yen, how are you? <laughs> Good to see you. Look at her. <laughs> Anyways, I want to do at least one of the other endings. I believe there was like, we were discussing there might be three or four. So... Let's just kind of wing it and go with it. I think the only other ending that I'm going to show is, well, at least in this. And we had an update video just recently, and I was talking about a surprise. Well, here's the surprise. We're going to jump back into The Witcher and do a little bit of stuff that we haven't seen in at least the DLC. I don't think I can go back to the main game. Let's look at the saves before we do anything. Because I feel like the only thing I can really do that I know what to do is to go back to... Remember the... Oh, shit. The Night of Long Fangs, we have that quest still. And this is where we did not make a decision to go see the Elder, or go see Oriana, or Siana. So we need to make a decision. Obviously, we're not going to see Siana this time. We're going to go do the Oriana, and then we're going to jump right on the Elder. But before we actually do that, I want to go and look for the Elder's Cave before we do anything. But it just hit me in the feels just looking at these saves. Friends, remember this one? Oh, shit. This is the Sunstone. So I can go back to the Sunstone, and that's it. I have no other saves. I guess I just kind of kept one save the whole time. We can go back to this one and see the other outcome to Odim. But listen, if there's only two outcomes of something, I don't really want to see it. So if we go to this one and there's only the outcome with seeing what happens if we side with Odim over Ogeard, then I don't want to see it. We're going to wait until our other Let's Play because our other Let's Play is going to be all different decisions that we did not do. As in, it's basically going to be a blind Let's Play game. Kind of. I mean, we also we all know the outcome of how it all ends. But these decisions that we're going to see, we're going to see new things, which is going to be nice. So I don't think I can go back. Look, I got Night of the Long Fangs, Pomp and Strange Circumstance. Night of the Long Fangs, Pomp and Strange Circumstance. What is this one? I don't know. Before we do anything, though, let's just look on the map here because there was talks about, look at the money that we still got. <laughs> Remember all the times I was so stressed out about money? At least we got everything. Look, the map's completely done. There was, okay, there was talk about we need to go and see the Elder's Cave. Before we possibly load a save. To go back and see the whole Elder side of the story. Now, somebody brought up that it was by a place of power. And we seen the area that it was in. I believe it was said it was by the amphitheater. But there's a, see, there's a place of power here. There's also a place of power over here. I think I have a good idea where it might be. I feel like if you want to go back many episodes to... I can't even pinpoint what episode it was. I feel like there might have been a cave. And I was like, is this a cave? Can we go in it? And there was like nothing there. But I remember that. See, there's a place of power up here as well. Alright. Let's just do ourselves a favor and go to this place of power here. And then check it out. Yeah. I feel like we're missing something though. We missing something? No. Let's look in the inventory. <laughs> look at all this stuff we still have. Because we gotta find the elder's thingy majiggy. Right? The key. Look right here. The magic key. This is the key to the elder. It's just a hand. The elder's about to bitch slap you, Gerald. <laughs> Literally, probably. All right. What's up, Yen? Let's talk to her. Come on. Let's just say hi. Can what do you think talk? she's reading? Always, with pleasure. Seriously. What do you think she's reading? Oh, we can't say nothing new, but at least we heard Geralt's voice. What's up? Oh, okay. So, talk again later? Of course. I'm not going anywhere. You sure ain't. 
She's been here for months, friends. I've been logging into the game every now on, every now and then. And just uh, going in there. Obviously, all the update videos are just me going in there and whooping BB's ass at Gwent. BB, if he had money, we would be rich right now. But the amount of times that I've actually played Gwent with BB. Alright, let's go to the flight thing here. Uh. Signpost. Excuse me, ma'am. Pardon me. You washing? What are you doing? Uh. All right. It's been a while. Come on, I need to bump into people. I need to. Yes. Scraggly, uh. yes, sir. Sir. Careful, will you? I didn't do anything. Without you, two some would be Let's go in. Uh, we're at 11 a.m. Can we touch his balls here? Oh, we can't. You. We can use. What happens if we just take it? Uh. Excuse him. Let's go to the bed, shall we? Get some sleep, because I don't know if we're gonna have to fight. I want to prepare fully for this. Look at Geralt in the picture in the background. He's fucking butt naked. <laughs> Come on, give me some bonuses here. You never know. And then we should potion up just like old times, huh? Do we have to click on these books? Like I always click on these books because of XP and stuff. I don't know if we actually need to. See experience gained, bonus applied. We have codexes to read. Seriously, do we? Let's not. Come on. Let's get out of here. Take our potions first, because I don't really know what to expect. And I'm quite nervous, because it's been quite a while since we actually played. Let's do... What were we always doing? Water hag. Yes. Hinda. Control. I can never forget. And then let's go over here and see if we can actually get into this cave. I don't, like I said, I don't really know which one it is, but let's just check it and see what the fuck happens. You never know. And then go from there. I want to get this save, like this is the save that I'll never save over. I'll do auto saves and whatnot. But this save, I want to make sure we're fully ready for New Game Plus. So if there's any tips or anything that I should bring, I know you guys said something about the die, stock up on the die and stuff. Uh, mutagens maybe, should we? I have not even dealt into the mutagens, but it's something to consider. I wonder, one thing is if we keep the cards. Do the cards go over with us, or do we start over with no cards? Because if we start over with no cards, that'd be cool. Now, I was thinking about Gwent next time we play, is that instead of actually getting rid of cards, you know how we start Gwent? Instead of getting rid of the two cards that we may want other cards, you know how you discard cards? Instead of doing that, I'm just going to hit the escape button and just use what they actually give us so we can make it harder for ourselves. Possibly. Anyways, alright, let's go over here. Let's go and see if this is the one first. Because... This is a place of power here. We'll just check all the places of power. That's the only knowledge I have on where the Elder's Cave might be. Obviously, we can probably do the other route and just see... Oh, there's... Look, come on, let's go fight. We're fighting. Oh, it's a water hag. We are definitely fighting. Come on. Yeah, mud me up, baby. Oh, rusty, huh? Let's take some shit. Let's take everything we got. Come on, Haggis. What happened to you? Are you sleeping? You taking a dirt nap? Ma'am, are you drowning yourself? Get up. How you doing? Just like old times, Haggis. How you like that? Oh. <laughs> Should we burn her? Have her dance? Come on, dance it up, baby! <laughs> oh, I missed it so much! We killed something! We're gonna loot it, just in case, you never know. Alright, come on. Let's go to this place of power and see if we can find it. It could be a lot of running around here. Like, I don't really- Oh, we got enemies in here! Race! Come on! Let's throw upgraded stuff down. Come on, race. Get over here and fight me, you wimps. Oh, shit. It's hitting pretty hard, race. Wait, can we still... Oh, we can still level up. Erendite. Yes, let's do it. Come on. That's a seven. We need to get the what? Oh, we got on 10? Come on, man! You trolling me already? What the fuck is this thing? Light them candles. Friends, they're trolling us already. Damn. 
Unless we're stuck at 10. Wait, is that something to loot? No. Are we... We might be stuck at 10. Because maybe the Erendite is already leveled up as much as possible? Come on, there has to be a Drowner somewhere. It's just waiting to get beat up. No. Okay. Well, like I said, I feel like... Where's the place of power? It's over here. But I don't know if this is the one. I know when we went by a place of power one time, I know I'm not mistaken, that we seen some kind of wall or area. Hey, sir, what are you doing over here? Oh, we saved this night, remember? Well, like, these knights pretty much saved themselves. They were pretty badass. As it was. We didn't really even need to save them. They were out here doing their job. Just whooping up on, uh... <laughs> Four Fingers Filbert, whatever the hell his name was. Friends, are we going the right way here? Let's make sure. Hmm. Maybe. Possibly. We we might not be, but still, nonetheless, I kind of just want to explore. Actually, let's just go for a swim, huh? Alright, so this Elder... We don't know much about the Elder, obviously. Regis is scared shitless of him. He did not want to do this quest at all. So, I am so intrigued. See, yeah, yeah, this is the area. I know it. This is the area that we seen something. And I was like, what the hell is this? Is this a trick ball or something? Yeah. But anyways, Regis is scared of him. And then Oriana, I would say she might be kind of scared of him too. But, friends, look. These are the signs. The symbols. This, this has to be it. This is it. This is the freaking thing. Look at it, it kind of looks like the hand. No, if you think about it, I can't really click, but it almost looks like a middle finger getting put up. So this sign right here is the elder sign. Remember, I remember you guys saying keep looking for signs and stuff, and I was seeing all the signs, but I didn't know. So this is the elder stuff. Let's go say hi, shall we? Geralt's here, mother effer, let me right in. He's just gonna let us in here? We don't even know what the Elder is, or who the Elder is. <laughs> We're just gonna show up, but we have the token to show up, so he probably will accept us. Hold on here. Let's get our torch out. That is... It almost looks like an elf, kinda. Got the vampire bat wings, and... Do the vampires have elf ears? Have we seen elf ear vampires? Can elves be vampires? Obviously they probably can, right? Seriously, it's a good question. What about halflings? Can they be vamps? Maybe. All right, well, let's keep going. What if that was the elder, though? See, there's the hand again. I almost feel like it's a, a, a warning sign, like stop, because if you don't stop, well, something's gonna come out of my hand and grab you and say, come here, get over here. Yeah. I'm actually quite nervous. What is this one? See, there's a snake. Three fingers and a snake. I don't know what that symbolizes, but I feel like it's dirty. Kinda. <laughs> Three, I don't know, man. Come on. Let's keep going. Here, what you done fell in the water. Lost your torch. Should we loot that back there now? Probably just, uh... Mushrooms. Nothing good. And there's gotta be stuff over here. Hold on. We should take, uh... Killer Whale. Yeah. Just in case. What the Elder? What is this over here? Watch there be an awesome, like, sword... Outfit or something in here. Like, remember when we missed the... Uh, Whoa. You guys see anything? It's just a wall. Remember when we missed the Tesha Mutina armor? Like, I wonder if there will be interesting stuff in this one. As in maybe even diagrams? Oh, there's something over there. He's over there. Anyways, what I'm saying is I wonder if there's going to be interesting dot. Well, look, there's loot there. And it's got his hand on the thing. Ancient coins. Ancient coins? 
Hey, Elder, what you gonna do with that stuff? Strange apparatus. Wait. Hold on. Because there's somebody over here. Oh, that's not nobody over there. It might be something outside the cave then. Is that a necker outside the cave? It's always oh, a hag. You hear it? It was definitely a water hag. I heard her. She was singing sweet serenades in the Geralt's ear from 20,000 miles away. Huh. Elder, you got some shit going on here, sir. What is this? Oh, this is like another way in or something? Run, you kind of, you kind of got a maze down here. But there was another way back there. Should we, let's go this way first. Yeah. Let's go this way. Oh, that did not hurt you, Geralt. Wait, there's the three fingers again. Oh, this is the way, okay, this is a different way. <laughs> Getting turned around already. Geralt. This is definitely open. Wide open. Well. <laughs> you are dead. You fucking died! Geralt, your journey ends, you saved the world, and you went to the wrong cave, and you tripped and fell and landed into a vampire's fucking mouth. What the hell was that? There you go, friends, you finally seen me die in the game completely. <laughs> Wait, what? Load... Hold on here. Excuse me. Load most recent save. What the hell is going on? Are we... Did we step on a trap or something? A trap that spawned the Elder to eat us, or are we just not supposed to be there at all? Maybe we're not supposed to be here whatsoever. Yeah? That's... What? Shall we try it again? Let's just go in slower this time. Let's drink some black blood. Maybe we didn't have black blood. Well, we definitely didn't. But let's put black blood on this time. And Geralt, I think, you know, I think you should just potion up, sir. Every potion that you possibly fucking have, you should take. Where's the health one? Full moon. Let's do it. <laughs> we just walk in there again? He just killed us. Hold on here. There's the bat-like thing. I'm going to make a save here, though. Because, seriously, if this is all that it is, I want to make a save here. And maybe save over that very last save so we have the loot from his cave, like this ancient coins or whatnot. We'll just go back and leave. But let's just see. We can. Uh, let's go this way. Hey, Elder. I'm just gonna sneak around this way. Because you're probably in the middle down there. Oh, he fucking seen us again. Geralt, duck and dive this time. That black blood's gotta work. Fucking kills us every time. Whoa. Okay. So, yeah. Maybe we should, let's just start the other route then. <laughs> I don't think we can actually get into the Elder's Cave. Now that we know, I guess we fully have to commit to his side then, yeah? That's the, that's the only way to get into the Elder. <laughs> Load most recent save, let's try it again. Let's go in this time with alcohol in our hand. Maybe he'll like that. Like I said, I do want to make a save here. I feel like I'm not going to save over that save because that's the ending save. I'll just make another one, okay? I'll make another hard save. If we intend or, yeah, because like if I can leave here, I don't know if I can fully leave and I don't want to jump back to the cave because I want to try to start the other story. But for now, we'll stay here. 
Actually, let's just trek back a little bit. See if he just jumps out and says, Hey, motherfucker, you ain't leaving here, Geralt of Rivia. So Black Blood didn't work. I think uh, it's an automatic death there, yeah? Oh, so we can just trek right here, right out the cave. Easy peasy. Yeah, it, it seems like it's an automatic death. There's no way to not die there, possibly. Interesting. Well, now we know where the Elder's Cave is. Let's make another fucking save, huh? All right. Let's strategize here. Like I said, let me know about the whole Odim situation. If that's the other outcome of that, then we'll have to wait. But there's also something else about doing the Heart of Stone DLC before Vesemir's death in Kaer We obviously can't do that now. And our next time playing, we will do Hearts of Stone before Vesemir's death so we can see something different. That lady might actually, or Vesemir might actually even be there. How fucking awesome would that be? Oh my word. Anyways, I, th I feel like there's only one other outcome to the fate of Olgir. It's, you just let Odim take him. But I think that's kind of something we'll see next time. And of course, the other options in the base game is going to be interesting because, well, I would say our Geralt's going to be a dick. He's going to be a big asshole. Literally. Alright, well, let's go back to, let's see, ever so humble. No. That's the manual save there. There's the manual save here. We will go back to Night of the Long Fangs and we will do Oriana's quest again. I don't feel like I don't feel like we should skip it. Let's just see it again. Maybe we'll pick different options with her, possibly, because I want to see how it is. I want to see other voiced options from Geralt and Oriana. And then I want to just fully commit to her side. It's just not even go to Damien. This time, because we went to Damien last time and then kind of broke off, went to Oriana. What's up, Geralt? Haven't seen you in a while. Go to the playroom. Wait. Oh, shit. I don't know long things go to the playroom. Oh, shit. We can't go back then. Wait, there has to be... Oh, it's this one here. When was this save? This was on the 16th, and this was on, that was like four days later. This is the one. Okay, I was about to say, damn, I done did all that, and then we can't even go back and see the other side of the story. Yeah, let's do this one. Hey, girl. Find Damien and ask him where Siana is being kept, or ask Oriana where to find the Unseen Elder. I don't know why I switch quest again. Is it B? E? Hey, Roach. What's up, Roach? <laughs> we could just go to the map and click on it, yeah? I can't remember fully. We'll just go to Oriana. And then... Wait, look at Geralt. He's in the Witcher 1 gear. Let's power around the Witcher 1 gear. Sure, yeah. Let's put the sword away, though. And then... we get, So if we got to level up here. Let's level up. See what we got going on. Get our barons. How do I do that again? You? Is it you? Is it I? It's probably I. Character. We have, what do we got? We have Piercing Cold still right now. I, you know, I think we should stick with Piercing Cold. Yeah, let's stick with Piercing Cold. What do we level up now? We have one level up. Everything's at five. This is at three. Ard. Ard Sweep. Let's level up Ard Sweep then. There we go. Oh, I level up. There we go. Easy peasy. Hard sweep. Oh, new game plus is gonna be awesome because do we get these abilities from the gecko? I you know I keep asking questions because I just don't know. But do we get this in the beginning? We probably don't. I can't imagine them actually giving this to us in base game. It will be pretty cool if it does though. Alright, well come on. Let's go to Oriana. Let's start that again. And then fully commit. Because I kind of want to refresh her with the Oriana stuff, too. I want to see it. I want to feel it. I want to hear what she has to say once again about the Elder. And then Regis is going to be... Oh, we get to see what Regis is going to be like when we actually go and see the Elder. Well, he's not a nice guy, for one. If you don't have a full invitation there, it seems like he does not want you there and he will kill you. So, that's just interesting to me, is that Geralt, he can't... So he can't run, dude. Come on, mother 
effort. You want to fight me? You don't let me fight this catacan. Why don't you fight him, sir? Thanks be to the gods for Geralt of Rivia. And fitting, Witcher, that the Duchessa summoned and you came. Champion, thanks be to the gods. The gods. <laughs> hey, man, I'm gonna take some potions here. You mind? Aw, oh, mother effer, we can't take potions. Can I, uh, meditate? Thank you. Easy peasy. I love it when they do that. They only did that in rare spots in the game where you can just kind of meditate and not meditate at the same time. Let's do Haggis. Get no and troll and get on with it. Shall we? All right, well, that gentleman saved. He's good to go. But anyways, what I'm saying is, it's so interesting to me that the elder just straight up kills Geralt. There's no, there's nothing around it. To me, that just tells me that the elder is possibly one of the strongest enemies this game has ever, we have ever seen then. Because, well, if the Elder just straight up fucking wrecked Geralt, and you know how strong Geralt is, I mean, we pretty much beat everybody. We literally do. You guys good? Maybe you should run away. Let's run away. I, I had enough of this. Let's go. See ya! <laughs> I love the peasants so much, I miss them. Wait, is this a guy standing in the fire? Hey, fellas, run away! I just got fucking wrecked. <laughs> Whoa! Hold up. Ocean. Something. Oh, no. Give me a minute. Damn. He just fucking shredded me. Let's get a uh, vamp oil and try this again. Let's take a, um, a black or black blood. Actually, yeah, let's take a black blood, huh? Well, we took. What was it? Tony Al. God, I've been out too long. Way too long. We'll do a black blood just to keep ourselves safe here. And then. Woo! Come on, Garth. I remember wrecking you my first time. You almost killed me there. Are you all alive still, sir? You're blown to pieces. I think your body's happening over there. Somewhere. Alright. Let's keep on going. We'll probably just go right to Oriana. We'll kill stuff that's on the way. What our first time. Look at this gentleman. Let me blow you off, sir. Well, that sounded bad. Let me let me get that fire off you, man. You don't look like you're gonna make it. For some reason I can't sprint. Geralt won't sprint. Run, kiddo! Get out of stealth! You okay? Hello? Come on, Ruxa. Did you miss me? You're gonna make me wait. She's gonna make you wait a while. What's up, Ruxa? That hurt? You hear that? <laughs> Don't look, girl. <laughs> Wait, so where are we at here? Are we gonna save Damien? This is Damien shit. Damien, you're lost in the sauce. We ain't helping you. <laughs> Screw you, Damien. Don't want nothing to do with you. Can we even go this way, though? I don't even think we can go that way. Damn. Geralt, why can't you run? I feel like we had that problem a long time. Well, here we go. What's up, Fled? The Fled name Ed. We leveled up. All right, Damien. I look around. I don't want to. All right, Damien. I have important people to meet. Sir, you're on fire. Did that guy have a thousand voices? Did you hear him? He was screaming like all the freaking people that scream. I know you heard it too. <laughs> what the hell? Run away! There's an Alp here. 
He looks pissed. You guys are just chilling. Look at him. <laughs> Get out of here. <laughs> we gotta fight him. Friends, we can't just leave him here. Damien's on his own, though. Come on, Alps. Let's take more stuff. Let's get all the goods on. I need you to stop yelling at me. I feel like I want to get the trap down. I don't know if I can now. Hey, ma'am. That wasn't fair. Oh. Get the shield up. Guy has the thousand voices. He's screaming like every peasant possible. <laughs> Sir, hold on. I'm busy fighting. <laughs> Come on, Bruxa. I got a bone to pick with you. Where'd you go. <laughs> this fucking guy is great! <laughs> I can't even concentrate here, sir. I need you to keep it down a little bit. <laughs> nice, tune. nice tune. Do you hear what he's singing? He can sing any song with them voices. Oh my goodness. What happened to you? Did you just kill yourself, ma'am? What the fuck? What's going on? I love this game. <laughs> Get down here. Nope. Not a thing. Any role possibly, this guy can be the actor of any role possible. You can make every movie in this world, sir. You have a man of a thousand voices. Luscious. Oh my god. What the hell is going on? <laughs> Come on, let's fucking go. Wait, the blue sign, that's for the blue balls. We can go fondle them. Hey, man. You good? You okay? Ooh, that's so sick. <laughs> that's so sick. He really hurts me when he hits me. Come on, Garky. How you like that? Let's get... Let's get hard. Excuse me. I didn't realize how big Garth is. Fucking huge. Look, we leveled up again. All right, Oriana. Well, we will get to Oriana. I swear, we might. One of these years. Let's kind of just. I mean, she's right here. Yeah, we just go right to her. What are our orders? Speak. I don't know. It's a slaughter. Clement's unit smashed. Koshma is dead. What of Captain Damien? What is his whole top the bank? Barricaded it, but they'll not keep the march long. Go ahead, you guys need to leave now, ASAP. Get the hell out of here. It's time to go. Virtues, you knights have forsworn the virtues. So what the is gods this? Have seen fit to punish us you think all. this is elder signs Shut too? Your mouth. You draw them here. Maybe, possibly, could be a thing. Who knows? Oriana, we're here. Where have you been, ma'am? In a hurry to get somewhere? Very much so. Now be kind enough to step aside. 
chaos in the city. Know what's going on. Naturally. It's rather irritating. Irritating. That all you have to say, ma'am? Bloodbath in the streets. That's irritating? I'd probably use a stronger term. Well, you know, I'm getting on in years. Not easily impressed. Takes a bit more to get me worked up. Yeah, I suppose empathy's not something I associate with vampires. I suspected you would guess. Wasn't hard. Not like you tried hard to hide it. Should I have? Well, I am a witcher. And thus my foe? That depends entirely on you. Seriously though, I kind of really suspect that she was a vampire from the get-go. Really did. Need to talk to the Unseen Elder, it's urgent. Hopefully he doesn't fucking kill me this time. Need to, uh, see your Unseen. Convince him to stop Deadlaf. Heard you could help me with that. <laughs> my, my. It seems my dear Regis needs to be reprimanded. He's become rather indiscreet. And you. There are simpler ways to commit suicide. A number of bridges you could jump off, for instance. Just want to talk to him. <laughs> talk. Lovely. He'll rend your head from your neck. Make shreds of you before you can open your mouth. Let me worry about that. Willing to do it or not? Hmm. I, too, would prefer a city calmed. But to reveal so dear a secret to a witcher. Know what? Come with me. I must tend to a certain matter. Then we'll talk. I really thought she was kind of just blowing smoke here by saying, oh, who rend your neck <laughs> from your head? Or rend your head right from your neck, but she really is speaking the truth here. It makes me wonder what, is, what do we think is going to happen here? I guess because we didn't go there with Regis, maybe? That could possibly be the reason why. Fine going with you. Time short. Folk are dying. Time's fucking short, ma'am. Oriana, I don't have time for that. Folk are dying and... And I'm about to mount my horse, so either ride with me, or finish this moving monologue alone. Damn it. <sighs> Fine. Where are we going? Not far. You see, I maintain a kind of shelter just outside Beauclair. Uh, an orphanage, to be precise. I've heard the birds whisper. They claim a terrible thing's happened there. Under the present circumstances, I must treat this seriously. I'm sure you understand. Mm-hmm. Perfectly. Let's go. Shall we go? <laughs> On our way, then. Remember? The general said that <laughs> when we were fucking getting on a horse way back in Novigrad. On our way, then! He jumps right on his horse. <laughs> I can't forget that, man. <laughs> Must cost a small fortune maintaining this place. What can I do? I have a weakness for children. Meaning? Meaning that I... Wait. Smell that. Blood. Arno! Arno! Oh no! There he is. <laughs> what happened? Where's Arno? Speak. Shh. shh. Oh, the, the, the mon monster walker come. Relax, you're safe now, monster what monster? I think we axied him last time, yeah? What's not? Monster? What monster? I don't see none. Monster? What monster? Big with the teeth and, and... And what? This is pointless. Won't tell us anything in his condition. What's she do? Speak. What happened here? 
I was so scared. So, so scared. Of what? You can tell us. Take your time. I... I w woke up because of the bells. Then the screams. I pulled the quilt over my head so I wouldn't hear. But they were so loud. And something began pounding on the roof. Boom, boom, louder and louder. Then Uncle Arno came and said, Sit quiet, real quiet. Shh, shh, and you'll be all right. The whole son abandoned them, left them and ran away. Arnold, who is Arnold and what happened then? Yeah, who's Arnold? Who's this Arno? The Guardian. He ran the orphanage with his wife for a generous fee. I don't see them, can't hear or smell them either. They fled, left the children behind as bait. Uncle Arno told us to be quiet as mice and a monster wouldn't come, but it did. It came. Makes me wonder. I want to talk about Oriana here after we expend this dialogue. What happened then? Bartes, Neve, Mora, and some others. They ran out. My sister Anna and me, we hid right here in the room. But Anna, she began to cry. I covered her mouth, whispered, shh, 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 held her long, till she stopped. You mean to say you- Drop it. Think I know enough. As do I. Something killed my children. I'll stay with the boy. He shouldn't be left alone again. You, you track down this scum. Bring me its head and I'll help you with the unseen. I'm gonna whoop his ass. Boy's wounded. Maybe you should tend to that, Oriana. <laughs> Boy's hurt. Wounds need dressing. Not to worry. I'll see to it. You sure? Got a lot of practice. Just need a few minutes to... Go. You think she just cleaned it up? Like, you know how, like, okay, hold on here. You know how, like, you're dirty when we're children. And this is like, I don't know if people still do it, but my mother back in the day would be like, oh, let me go ahead and lick my finger. Oh, you got a little bit of dirt right here on your head. Let me get it off for it. Let me lick my finger and clean it. Do you think she's like uh, licking her whole, whole fucking hand and slopping it right on his wound and just licking her whole hand again and then slopping it? <laughs> she's probably doing that. Fine, see if I can find a lead. Fine, see if I can't find a lead. Excellent. Go on, get to work. Anything for you. Look at Gerald, he's about to headbutt Come, it. little one. I'll sing to you. Wolves asleep in midst the trees. But all are swaying in the breeze. But when soul lies anxious, wide awake, fearing all man out of ghouls, hacks, and wraiths. That's so cool that they did that. They knew. They did that trailer, and then the people played this game, and they're like, oh, that's the lady from the fucking trailer. You slick bastards, you. Seriously though, let's con let's take it in for a second with Oriana. First of all, is Oriana the same actor, voice actress that did Saskia? It kind of sounds like her. If that's the case, if that is Saskia, wow, she can really sing. Because the lady that did Oriana's voice, that was probably her really singing that instead of somebody else. But let's talk about Oriana. We know the fate of Oriana now. What she ultimately is doing here. But is it? bad that she's doing that yeah I know she's kind of like taking these children in and if you think about it if this was Velen these children that weren't in the orphan orphanage out and about they probably would be dead the orphanage here might be different or the kids here that's kind of stray don't have a home nothing I would say they're probably well off more than Velen types but it makes me wonder if these children actually have a better life here. With Oriana, you know that she's kind of bleeding them a little bit, but she's not killing them. 
And we also let, seriously, we let the same thing happen in Witcher 1. Blue Eyes, remember the Blue Eyes quest? I literally let that lady live. She was partaken in probably drinking some of the fucking people's blood. I can't fully remember. That's why we need to do a whole new let's play of like everything. But I'm saying, we let her live. She ended up being, what, well, she was Regis' girlfriend from times past. But I, I feel like she was good for the area, though. Oriana could be evil in her own way. Selfish, sucking on children's blood. But ultimately, maybe these children are safe. Seriously, though, I know I keep saying it. If this was in, if this was in Velen, I kind of would say that these children are better off with Oriana than out in a... Well, you seen the orphanage in the swamps, friends. <laughs> Gran was just loving life with them children. But anyways, I don't know. I still kind of don't know how I fully feel, feel of Oriana. Stomach wall cut open in three places. Damaged organs, arteries. Beast killed the children but didn't eat them. Something scared off? Or grab its attention. Have we seen this before to this point? Have we seen dead children in the game? Or is this the first time? Because that's always a bold thing to do. Like movies or just anything, even in a game, having children, like you actively see children dead. In games, they usually have children. Like if you can like fight the populace and stuff, they usually would have children as immune. You can't really do anything. Not saying I've ever done that, but I mean like friendly fire accidental stuff, maybe. You just, you, you can't touch him. Smashed against the wall. Skull cracked. Died immediately. Dead and done. Unfortunately. Poor kid. These poor children, though. I don't know. I'm always going to wonder, is this the better way? Is Oriana, Oriana, there's blood here, ma'am. Can I get Blood stains. Dried. Get it and lick him up. All right, keep singing, Oriana. You really do have a beautiful voice. I absolutely love that song too, ma'am. Take care. Have a good day. See you when I see you. Head, shoulder, and neck wounds. Monster attacked from above. Jumped off the roof, I bet. Monster came in, whooped up the children, jumped up on the roof. So he jumped in. He came in scaring the children. Claw marks. First. Sharp hooked claws. Monster had an easy time climbing on the roof. Damn, look at Geralt's face. I missed you, sir. I really did. I just missed you talking to yourself. I just, like, this game really knows how to immerse you into it. They really do. Having characters like this, I've only seen two games like, like this. I've never seen other games do this. I said this. Remember Witcher 2? Witcher 2 and Roach's Path, they started introducing Geralt kind of interacting and talking to himself, and I thought that was so unique and cool. And Witcher 3 took that, one of my favorite parts from that game. Took Head, it and put it into this game. Neck wounds. Monster attacked from above. Jumped off the roof, I bet. And like like I said, there was only one other game that I ever seen, and that was uh The Walking Paul Dead Prince, first game. Bipedal beast. Walks hunched over. Walks hunch over, it's a hunchback. Hunchback damn What was this again? Uh Garcane? Look another dead show. Sliced aorta. Fang marks alongside. But they're old, scarred over. Well, yeah, Geralt talking to ultimately us and itself, it just really immerses you, doesn't it? You really feel like you're in the environment here. Smells not blood. Need to investigate. He said the smell is not blood and need to investigate. Let's go. Let's loot everything on the way. Not like we're probably won't need it. You see that stuff? Roach? You over here? Look at Roach. What are you doing here, Roach? I didn't call you here. You're Gunk. just... Is that Venom? Hmm. Arrows a list of suspects. Venom okay. glands, long claws, a bloodsucker. Must be a Garcane, a pack leader, an alpha. For Garcane's killing's a pleasure. Kids just whet its appetite. Must have gone after the Guardians, too. I kind of want to read that. Let's read a codex, huh? It says read the codex on the Garcane. Glossary Bestiary. Look, we were all set up to Alpha Garcanes. Is that the only one? Yeah, we were completely set up. 
When a vampire gives a witcher a contract to kill another vampire, you can be certain neither of the two is entirely normal. The contracts seem simple enough, though Geralt knew his target was a vampire, yet one must bear in mind, vampires are a very diverse group and their various species differ from one another greatly. The Witcher established the individual he sought had long hooked claws with which it could tear apart a body with ease, leaving behind venom which hindered the clotting of blood. What's more, it could use the claws to scale even the sheer outer wall of a building, giving others the impression it possessed mind-boggling powers. Geralt also realized his opponent was an experienced predator, able to set ambushes for its prey and attack it unexpectedly. Interesting. It's still so nice, and it's funny because, like I said, we're doing another Let's Play of this. I was thinking about when we do it, Give minor details. Carcane and wagon tracks merge. Wonder if the beast caught up. Roach. Roach, you here? Come on in. Anyways, I was thinking. Now, another let's play that uh, we do of this. I was kind of just the quests that don't really have choices in it, since we already seen it in our first let's play. Not do it. But honestly, that's gonna be really hard for me because I know I, we already seen this Oriana part, but it's so good still. I still want to read everything. I still want to just listen to all the dialogue and never skip any of it. But see, that also makes me wonder that I know some of these choices may not be different. As in, we may not have big ultimate choices at the end of some of these quests. We also have different dialogue to hear, so it's still something new. So it's going to, like I said, it's going to be very hard for me not to want to uh, actually do it all again. I know I fully completed this game at the best of my knowledge for a first time playthrough. The second time through we can actively look at something to probably see where all the question marks are, the explanation points on the maps that we may have missed. And to be honest with you, I, I'm not going to know fully. I know we did it and Drove I don't really road, have a good memory. Horses must have gotten spooked. But ultimately I'm kind of one going to see him again. You know, you know, sometimes when you watch a movie maybe read a book let me just say this in general when i read the witcher books i loved them but the second time i read them they were so much better than the first time so i wonder the second time if i play this game it's going to be even more better than the first time you guys feel that when you may have done yours and then played the second time ultimately yes you do know the bigger choices but there's still things that you can say that's going to be new and i knew the books from the first time I read it, I loved it. And then the second time, I was just... Gar King caught up. Trail ends here. Need to look around. I kind of just realized all the little details he's seen and heard kind of more things that I might have missed the first time. Wounds are bad. At least it didn't suffer long. He ate that horse. No, I don't think he ate it. He just kind of wrecked it. Hey, Gar King. her, then licked up her blood. Every last drop. Garkane ate its fill here. Probably holed up nearby to digest. Delicious, Geralt, don't you say? Let's go whoop this Garkane's fucking ass. What do you say, huh? Just like old times? Geralt, let's get it, friend. Wait. Did we miss something back here? I think we did. Because it's not really, uh... Updating. Friends, we didn't miss anything. He's right over here. Uh huh. Oh. What'd you miss, Carol? Oh, you just need. I needed to be back there and hear the Witcher senses over here. All right. Well, he's over here hanging under the bridge. You imagine walking under this or walking above this bridge, these fences. You think he just swoops up? Whoop! Give me that. Come here. Remember, like Saskia's tail in the second game. How it would just fucking whoop our ass. You imagine, I mean, is he like that, you think? His tail just come up and whoop the guys up there? Mm. Geralt's here.
hit his head. They're so crazy. Gonna hang your head from my saddle, bastard. <laughs> hey, Alpha. <laughs> them sounds are so badass. Your nerve. Get in here and get woke up. Oh, yeah. I love Whirl. It's been a while. How you doing, Whirl? We got. Okay, we're good. Where you going, man? Don't you run from me. Do it again. Do it again. Do it again. That sound is so awesome with the headphones. Oh, you fucking sucker. We were about to upgrade. <laughs> you ain't upgrading me. That's what he's saying. You're not upgrading on me. Easy peasy. <laughs> Geralt's so happy. <laughs> Seriously, though. Come on. Why did they never give Geralt, like, a maybe a sharper knife? It looks a little bit better than a butter knife, that knife. I want to see, like, a Rambo knife. Geralt. Seriously, a big old one that has ridges on it. Right? There was a note over here, yeah? Let's read it. Letter from Oriana. R. Null. I don't care at all that turnip is the cheapest. It makes the blood thin and bitter. I told you many times cost is no object. Don't try to cut corners, otherwise I'll start to... Suspect that you're funneling coin into your own pouch. My children will eat well and in good quantity. Make sure they have dessert after each meal. I didn't bring you all those sweets for nothing. And one more thing, if I ever see any more marks from beatings, you'll be in trouble, serious trouble, oh. You see here, you see these people that were taking care of these children were beating the children. But Oriana, is taking good care of these children. She is kind of like, okay, in there she probably hypnotized the, the child or mind soothed them some way. So she's probably mind soothed them and the children don't even feel the pain when she goes in and takes some blood. Those kids, Oriana kept them like farm fowl or livestock. Damn it. It's so hard to justify that being the right thing to do instead of them children living out on their own. I just don't know, friends. I don't know how I feel about it. The same aspect is, I don't know how I feel about the children situation with the tree and the crones and stuff like that. It was just, uh, I don't know. There's this things in this game that always has me stumped that I just don't know how I feel. You know, and there's some characters that I just don't know how I feel about them still. I still don't know how I feel truly about old Geared. And I don't truly know how I feel about Detlaf fully. I'm hoping this time around we get a better understanding of Detlaf. Obviously, we probably will. And like I'm saying, there's there might be more outcomes. I don't know how many outcomes to this. We're just going to fully commit to this elder side here. But there was also talk about doing Sienna's quest, okay, and not buying the ribbon. And letting something happen to her, whatever happens to her, and then finishing the game that way. We're going to finish the game this time with this the Elder fully, and then I feel like the Let's Play that we do again, we will do that last ending and see that. Hey, Oriana, I found some stuff on you. Go figure. Maybe you should sing more. Look, she's going to... Oh, my lord. See, this is hard. That's... Release him now. I just I thought it would take you longer. It will. Still not done. Got one more thing to tend to. You. The orphanage. Your wine cellar, right? A larder for blood. 
I never said I helped these children out of the kindness of my heart. Go outside, little man, and lock the door behind you. No, don't hurt her. Lady Oriana took care of us. She took us off the street, brought us sweets, sang to us. Leave her be. You see, Witcher, the world's not black and white. It's shades of all kinds. I drank from the children, true, but never so much as to kill. And I gave them a great deal in return. Expect me to thank you, you disgust me. It's still so rough, isn't it? It truly is. It's like I feel for the children so much for being out orphaned. I just want them to be happy. I want them to try to have a life. And... Oriana is at least helping them. But she's also taken from them too. It's sickening, it really is. It's sick. You're sick, twisted woman, Oriana, with nice hair. But you're sick. You disgust me? I mean, thank you. You fucking disgust me, ma'am. <laughs> I don't know. I, I just still just, it's hard to, it's. I run into dilemmas all the time. Situations where it's hard to judge, hard to know what's right. Make a decision. This is not one of them. You disgust me and deserve to die. But? I'm in a hurry and you're hiding behind a child. So you'll live this time. I'm letting you. Did what you asked. Children slaughters the work of a Garkane. One of those summoned by Dedlaf. Probably supposed to attack the city. Children sent lured it here. Yes. It carries quite away. Its sweetness teases the nose. Gets the mouth watering. Unseen Elder. Where'll I find him? Talk. His lair lies west of the city, across the lake. Look for a cave near the shoreline, and this stone will open a hidden door. Not gonna take me there? I visit the Elder only when I absolutely must. You'll know why once you meet him. He's a wonderful guy. I'll come back for you one day. You realize that, right? Hmm, then I shall keep an eye out for you. Well, she gets what she deserves, regardless of how we feel of Oriana. Is it a good thing? Time to summon Regis. Is it a Slip bad a thing? Word to the birds, he said. The thing is, it don't matter though, because Ger Geralt kills her anyway in the trailer. She's already dead. She's done. So yeah. Anyways, I think what I'm going to do is stop here, and when we get back. We will keep on going with this. See where it leads. I can't wait to actually see this. What's going to happen next episode. Because it's going to be all new stuff. And I'm excited for it. So. We can expect these episodes. To come out sporadically. They will come out. They're not going to be an everyday thing. Like the regular Witcher. Let's play. But they will. Because I just feel like it's only going to be a few videos. Friends. I don't know how I feel about doing. Heart of Stone again. I'm not sure. Because I feel like there's only one other ending. Let me know, obviously. And you've seen that we can't do the base game stuff. We have to do another Let's Play. And that Let's Play will be a new game plus. But from here, I don't know how many endings this will be. But I do still feel like it will just be this one. And then there might be another one. I'm sure you can tweak some stuff with Anna Henrietta, possibly. From this point, still. No matter what side you do. And kind of go different route maybe I kind of want to see what happens as well like okay so there definitely will probably be two endings I don't know if Sienna's going to survive or a couple more two or three more because I don't know if Sienna's going to survive this okay if she dies and Detloff kills her because we didn't go and get the ribbon that's something and that's some kind of ending right there somebody also brought up the fact that there was a prison or something we can see something about a prison Depending on the ending. It wasn't a spoiler. I didn't take it as a spoiler. But remember when I was so fixated on getting to that prison. They were like maybe. So I said maybe you can get into it. Just depends on your choices. So yeah. That could be something to see too. 
And then I kind of want to see what happens if we keep Sienna alive. And then we don't, like, possibly... Did we convince her in the first time to reconcile her and Anna? wonder what happens if we don't convince her. We're just kind of an asshole to her and <laughs> think she'll kill Anna, maybe. So there's probably many more outcomes. Maybe we might just leave them for the next time. But I just... It just feels great to be back in the game. I love hearing Geralt's voice again and... Well, I've been kind of hitting at it that I wanted to do this for a while. And, well, here we are. But like I said, when we come back, we will keep going on the Elder's Quest. Can't wait to see it. Maybe he'll actually let us in this time for some blood tea or whatever. Blood and wine. Anyways, friends, take it easy. Have a good one. Stay safe. See you next time. Take care. <laughs>